this is Travis Iverson, and this is The Big Impact Blog. I'm the founder, the CEO, and uh, president of Ivor Fashion Inc., which is a unique accessible clothing line exclusively for all, uh, whether you're in a wheelchair, or you are visually impaired, or you are a uh, war vet, uh, we will have pieces that are designed specifically to help your needs. The bet was to uh, dive from the dock uh, into uh, the lake and, and get the deep um, dip that goes down 40 feet. So it, um, it's a shallow sandbar for a little bit and then it dips down quite a bit. I ran pretty much uh, from the cottage and uh, as fast as I could to get to the deep end and uh, missing it uh, by half a meter, uh, laying there face down, uh, the body just not corresponding, uh, me telling the body to basically turn over and uh, again, it not corresponding and, uh, you know, I, I was basically drowning. And so um, luckily my friend was close by and um, uh, he turned me over. And at that point, um, without knowing what paralysis was, um, I said, you know, Sean, you know, call 911. I think I'm paralyzed. My arms, my legs, just like lifeless. And so uh, he said, um, they're on the way, you know, stay calm and pull me, uh, pull me to shore. You know, and then there was a, a, a big uh, journey ahead of me. And uh, the first was to, just to be able to breathe on my own. The uh, average uh, bronchoscopy uh, for a spinal cord injury is uh, one to three uh, post-injury. And I had 17 in the first week. So you wanna talk about Survivor, um, you know, that was uh, a huge feat. After my injury, um, you know, I realized that uh, clothing was just really hard to, to get on. You know, I was uh, out for um, uh, finding an outfit for my um, best friend's milestone birthday. And so uh, we, uh, we picked the mannequin outfit right off the mannequin because it just looked so nice. And so we boxed it up, brought it home, and only to be uh, shattered the next morning uh, and it not fit anywhere. And so right then and there, I rolled up to my computer desk and uh, with a very sore neck, I typed with my, uh, with my head. So I have a sticker in the middle of my glasses and it's an infrared, so basically letter by letter. Um, I wrote out every piece I've ever wanted, every spec, every detail. And so, uh, yeah, and then um, uh, post uh, all of the fits from chair and all of this stuff, I um, uh, gave it to my mentor, Jason Daly, who was uh, my best friend's uh, brother-in-law. And he saw all of the write-up that I did and he was blown away. So he basically uh, took that to the Applied Research and Innovation at Algonquin College. And out of uh, uh, 30 venture pitches, I was the last to present, uh, but the first to win. And that's basically when the ball got started. How the business, or how the injury, sort of propelled into my uh, business career, um, the never give up motto really, really stuck with me and uh, um, it, uh, it's true. When you are passionate about something, um, if you never give up, um, you know, you'll, you'll be successful. And I think that the, uh, uh, the one pillar of success that you can control um, is hustle and grind. So all these things, I mean, uh, and here I am, you know, I'm wearing basically everything I'm wearing right now other than my jewelry uh, is mine. The reason why I did the uh, mouth drawn red cardinal bird, uh, a friend of mine, Chris Gordon, was uh, 17 years old. He was the only child and uh, he was on his way to school. And uh, unfortunately, he was hit and killed by an elderly woman 
Um, so you can imagine the devastation on that family. Uh, Chris being the only child, he was driving a red Civic. Uh, so the red bird was, uh, uh, it was an easy pick. Uh, I also really love the sound of the Cardinal and they were really um, uh, prevalent uh, at my mom's home where I lived for 10 years after my injury. And so, uh, yeah, with a very, very sore neck, uh, Jason and I, and I use a, a stylist and a tablet, and uh, we went through the motions. And uh, after, again, a very sore neck, I, I came out with this brilliant design. And uh, I'm so proud uh, that everybody is supporting this uh, beautiful cause because uh, all of the uh, or, uh, proceeds, pardon me, of the, of the Cardinal go to um, uh, fitting wheelchair users and, and people with uh, disabilities with uh, unique designs that, um, that I design. Uh, one collection is called Fits From Chair and it's basically how it sounds. So uh, getting dressed from the chair, so the jacket I'm wearing now, um, it has no back, so you put it on from the front. And as well as the pants, same deal. And I mean, it's a game changer when your caregivers uh, don't have to like turn you left to right in bed. Um, it's very taxing uh, to be a caregiver and uh, back injuries are very high in the industry. And so um, that's another give that I'm helping the caregivers with, uh, you know, garments that are easy to put on and take off. Having uh, garments that uh, the nurses can put on uh, with ease, um, that's a huge plus. And I mean, uh, having like um, garments that aren't uh, is a huge like backbreaking ordeal. I mean, uh, I've been through it, I've been injured for 20 years. And I mean, like the difference between uh, the accessible line and, and just traditional uh, garments that you get from the box stores. Uh, it's just a huge, huge difference. Well, I'd like to have a brand that's uh, global. And so, you know, that it's in every home, you know, everybody, whether it's, um, again, as someone who's visually impaired or someone who has uh, a missing um, a missing leg or a missing arm, whether it's uh, you know your your graduation outfit and you're heading off, uh, you know you're you're getting you're getting married, um, just a global a global brand, um, not just so much uh, a, a small business. We uh, would love to have uh, some angel investors um, and have uh, you know just. Um, some more investment into the company um, so that we can do uh, more ourselves. So I guess um, I guess it would come down to uh, funding. Uh, most certainly is one of the biggest challenges uh, for a small business like this, a unique small uh, niche business like this. So um, and uh, just for uh, a lot more awareness uh, for injuries and for you know people with impairments so that we can um, you know help them with whatever it may be uh, a lot of people help my family and I after I got injured uh, to come home from the rehab and you want to talk about a huge undertaking um, financially I mean uh, you know putting in a roll-in shower widening doors uh, putting in ramps um, it was massive and uh, I give it all up to Mr. Power from the Emporium uh, and Heather Lillico uh, who uh, uh, took on this massive challenge and uh, you know a lot of people from far and wide, even people I don't even know, uh, stepped in to help us out and so uh, it's my duty and, a, and an honour uh, to be able to uh, do the same thing um, and just on a, a bigger scale.